G'day everyone, I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. So Scott's now started on the actual painting of the table. So we're doing the first uh, layer, the, the dry brushing. The first layer of uh, grey. So this is what we're using. Uh, what is it? Heavy metal. I think this is a Dulux paint. I'm not 100% sure. I'll find out and I'll let you know uh, just here which one it is. British Paints or Dulux, I can't remember. It's probably British Paints. We use a lot of theirs. So this is quite a heavy dry brush going on. Uh, it's not that heavy. Not that heavy? Is it well, going to be heavy? Well, it just looks heavy. The foam is a little bit fragile, so I'm trying not to brush too heavy. So the, the brush is a little bit wetter. But no, I want some of the brown to show through because that's why I painted it brown. I like to get these warm tones with the underneath the rock coming through. I was going to say a lot of the stuff that you paint brown, you always start I, with uh, grey. You everything. start with a brown base coat. Everything, if it's a natural surface. So that's just the first one. We'll come back a little bit later when we start seeing some highlights. All right, so we're back with the next layer of brown. No, grey. So just typical of dry brushing, dry brush, drag it across the surface. What colour is this? I'm this gonna one grab is that pot. Tabloid. Tabloid, alright. From the same brand as the other one, so we'll figure out what they are if we haven't already. Fairly simple stuff. So Scott's finished with the dry brushing now. There was a third layer that went on, but uh, didn't capture it. But uh, it's just another lighter shade of grey and uh, in the description you'll be able to find the, uh, the colours. So now it's just a matter of going over the browns with a little bit of a dry brush. On these parts and, um, here that have been gently carved out with the foam. Sort of see where they are. We just carved those with a wood rasp earlier and then smoothed it off, sanded it back a bit, and then added some filler to smooth it off. This might be hard to see because the colour balance isn't fantastic. But there's a mild difference in that colour, so we'll go through that and then we'll add some flock. Alright, so Scott's putting down the base coat here. It's almost like the old bunker days. People are here, there's discussions going on. It's, <laughs> it's, it's quite nice. Um, so, just a base coat of PVA, which we're then going to put um, some flocks on, basically. Um, Nothing fancy, we'll come back. We want to do the whole board, right? Yep. It shouldn't, it shouldn't dry off too quickly. Um, I've, but we'll, I've thinned it down for water a lot. Okay, cool. Well, we'll come back to it. It's nice to get the whole board done, at least one side, so that way when you flock it, you'll see you get a little bit of better control in terms of where you're putting it and things blend a bit better. Rather than doing this patch and then that patch, you always end up with this weird line when you, when you do it like that. So that's my advice. Cover the whole surface in glue and then flock it. So the first flock we put down is not ideal. It's kind of like this black sawdust, which was the only... I didn't have any proper dirt-coloured sawdust. And then the stuff that Scott's putting on at the moment is a mix of a whole bunch of different Woodland Scenics flock. And then those bigger yellow bits are just some coarse sawdust. So that'll go over the whole board. We'll sprinkle on, let it sit there, and then blow off any excess, possibly. I may just let it sit there and then we'll seal it all in place afterwards so the ground is a little bit more naturally undulated than what is already perhaps on there because of this, this texture that we've got on there. So there we go, we'll come back once that's done. So Scott works way too quickly and he's already done the other side of the board. Um, there, there is a lot of loose flock on here but I reckon we'll just leave it on there and then just uh, we're going to spray this board with a little bit of water and then cover it entirely in PVA so it dries. There's been a, little, a few little nicks but they'll get touched up with, with some ferns and foliage and stuff and in these areas on the rock faces we've sprinkled a little bit of flock. That's not sealed on there but uh, there's no glue underneath that but that will get sealed when we apply the sealant layer to it. So at the end of the day the whole board should end up looking something like this side. There's still a few other bits and pieces that we want to uh, to add to it, some rocks to break up that line of sight, and, but it's looking pretty good so far. Well, that's all right, we're filming. <laughs> we're gonna, gonna put a big tree trunk here. There'll be a big broken tree on one side here. Find a big tree branch, we'll add a whole bunch of foliage to it, vines and stuff hanging down. It's gonna look pretty sweet. But we'll leave it there for now. You, I don't know what we'll see next. I don't know if I'll get time to capture it between when Scott actually works on it and when I'm here, but there we are so far. It's looking pretty sweet. Catch you next time, see ya.